we are going to be writing a set of instructions. Because I hear that you've been starting instructions this week in literacy. Is that right? Yes. All right. We're not going to start on the carpet because that's a little bit boring. At your tables, there is a plastic wallet that looks like this that has got some jumbled up instructions in it. And your job is to work as a team, okay, and you need to arrange the instructions on the table in the correct order. Now, do you think that you can do that? Yes. yes. Do you think it might be a little bit difficult? No. Okay, well, I want you to prove to me that you can do it. Okay, work together as a team. Think about all the things that you've learned about instructions so far, okay? And we'll see who will be the first team to win. Okay? When you finish, put your hands up and I'll come and check it. Okay? Alright. So, on your marks, walking sensibly back to your tables, get set, and off you go. Oh, good thinking, Marco. So the title goes at the top. Excellent. What comes next after the title? Maybe the picture, yeah? What would you need? Well done. You guys look like you're doing great guns. I'll leave you to it. We always start with the title, don't we? Okay, so you will need a tap, a towel, and soap. Yep. We have a picture as well. Fantastic. What to do? Well, that's a bit of a clue first. So, what special word is that? A time. Well done. A time word. What's the special word? So, that's what we see a time opener or a time connecting. Well done, Lachny. Okay, so. Two, three. Oh, there's another one. Can anyone find another time connecting in there? Oh, well done. You guys have done fantastically. Well done. So right, an amazing set of instructions ourselves. What things do we need to include? Have a think. Has everyone got something in their head that they think they need to include if they were going to make it amazing? Naz, what do you think we need to include? Um, you'll need. Yes, so we always have to say about what equipment that we'll need, won't we? So if we write up here the equipment, what else do we need, Leanna? Title. Yeah, you always need a title, don't you? Imagine going to cook a recipe and you didn't know what it was. You just were following the instructions. You didn't know if you were going to cook chocolate chip cookies or spaghetti bolognese. Maybe a bit, a bit confusing. So you always need a title. What else do we always need? Let me. Time connectives. Yeah. What is a time connective? Kai? Like finally or um, first you have to like or afterwards you... Yeah, fantastic. You know a lot of time connectives. Now do we write our actual instructions in one big paragraph? No. What do we do instead of writing it in a paragraph? So we do it in steps, don't we? Now, would we number the steps? Yes. 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 So maybe we would number them, or we could use something else. You guys are amazing. You know a lot about instructions. Is there one final thing? Have we forgotten anything? Or have I just put too many stars up on the board? What do you think, Albert? Picture? Yeah, it's nice to have a picture, isn't it? We can help you. Yeah. Like I said before, it's nice to know what it's meant to look like at the end. Imagine if you went to Ikea and you bought a bookcase, and you were going to put it together, you need to know what it's going to look like first, don't you? Otherwise you don't know if you've done it correctly. So a picture is also a nice feature. Okay, fantastic. Today we're going to be building things and writing instructions. Now this, 
amazing model made from Lego by me. Okay, is Wonka's fantastic fudge making machine. Now I know that you've been doing a lot of work on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. I've heard that you are experts in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. That you know everything there is to know. So we are going to be making some machines today, okay, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And this machine that I built out of Lego is a fudge making machine, okay? You put the ingredients through the hole and you turn the, well, you don't turn it too hard because it will fall off. You turn the little knobs at the side, you press the top, and then the fudge will come out the back. Okay, that's how my fudge machine works. Now, if we were to write a set of instructions about how to make this fudge making machine, what would we have to include? What would we have to tell people about how to make it? Stephanie, what do you think? What type of blocks? Yeah, you definitely need to say what type of blocks. Good, what else, Zoe? Yeah, so we definitely would want to put the picture in, wouldn't we? So they know what it's going to look like. So definitely types of blocks, pictures, what else, Asia? How much blocks you need? Yeah, definitely, because it's one thing to say you need small blocks and you need larger blocks, but you need to know how many blocks. Okay, so we have to count up how many blocks. Maybe you could even say seven small blocks, eight big blocks. Okay, give lots of detail. What else would we have to say? Yes. Oh, so we could actually explain that we want a two by two one or a two by one. Use our math skills in there as well. Fantastic. What else would we have to do? Maybe you can put how too much together. Yeah, definitely. These are all fantastic. How would we like to set this out? Do we want numbered steps? Do we want bullet points? Do we want a paragraph? What do we think? This is our instructions together. Kenneth, what do you think? Bullet points. Okay, let's do bullet points. So. We've already talked about the thing that I did first when I built this, and do you remember what that was? I got my four white blocks. So what would my first instruction be? I want you to have a think. Maybe you're sitting next to your talk partners by any chance. No? Just, just to the person next to you. See if you can talk about the first instruction. Can you include a time connecting? First, our time connecting there. Okay, first get four white blocks for the base. Okay, how would we start our second instruction? Get two of the white blocks and put them together. What was that? Get two of the white blocks and yeah, so we could have the word get to start. Can we use a different word to start? Place. Take. Take, yeah, or place. What else do we think? Dead. Sorry? Dead. Yeah, then. Well done. So then, or, would there another time connective that we could use? After. After. Because we've got first. Second, later. Secondly, later. Good. All of these are great options. So, or we could just start. Like Jan Alexander said, with our imperative verb, our bossy verb, and you said take, didn't you? Yeah, so you said take two blocks and put them together. Okay, I think that we've been sitting for long enough on the carpet, and I think that you know so much about instructions that we don't need to continue writing ours on the board. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, your task, when you go back to your table, is you are going to work with a partner. You are going to work with your partner and you are going to make a simple model of a machine from Lily Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Okay? Now, you don't need to spend lots of time on your Lego. In fact, you're only allowed to use no more than 30 Lego blocks. So it doesn't have to be anything complicated. You're going to make your model and you're also going to write the instructions on how you did it. Yes. Maybe we, who's going to be the scribe? Okay, so Naz, are you going to build them? Okay, so what's going to happen first? Then you then have to tell Linia what you want to say and share the... She's the writer, but you need to make sure that you're giving your ideas as well.
have finished, oh eyes on me please, thank you, most of you have finished your instructions, okay, I know some of you are still working on your picture but that's okay because you've got your model next to you. We're going to do what I like to call a gallery and that means we're actually going to go around the room and we're going to look at everybody else's instructions and we're going to see, looking at our success criteria, if they've included all of the things that we talked about earlier. So have they included their title? Have they included the equipment that they need? Have they included steps and time connectives and bossy verbs? Okay, and you're going to on the post-it notes on the table. If you see something that they have done that's really good, that's amazing, that's on our success criteria, you might write a note on the green post-it and say, for example, I really like how you use imperative verbs. And then you'll stick that green post-it note on the bottom of their sheet. If you see something that they need to work on for next time, like a wish when we give two stars and a wish, maybe they forgot to use some time connectives. You might say, next time, try and use time connectives. And then you've got to put your name on it and stick it at the bottom of their work. Okay, and you're going to go around and look at lots of different people's work and get to give them some feedback. Oh wow, step-by-step -step pictures here. Yeah, that's quite impressive, isn't it? I might give a post-it up that I like that. I've just done a bit on a, a green post-it note. One of the first one I did like is a pretty good. Uh, they are like, different. Like um, it, it'd be better if they had like something called different like time openers. Oh, okay. Have they used the same ones all the way not down? Well, not, not exactly every time, but like I've seen the next and like then, 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 and next. Uh, oh, I see. So I maybe they could use yeah. a few a variety of time openers. Yeah, that's a great um, feedback point. Well done. And what did you give for this group? It is really neat. Very clear. That's fantastic. You definitely put that down on a green post-it note because that's some great feedback. You and your partner are now going to have a look at everybody else's feedback on your instructions. Okay, and I want you then to have a discussion and have a look at our success criteria and I want you to decide either yes or no if you think that you were successful. Remember, our learning objective was to write a set of instructions. If you think you've been successful and that you've got all of those things from the uh, success criteria and you've looked at the feedback from everybody else, you need to together to decide yes we were successful or no not this time okay so i want you to have that discussion you've got one minute and then we're going to feed back to the whole class about what we thought okay so one minute to talk are you successful or not so what do you think can you show me with your thumbs were you and your partner were you successful were you nearly there or not okay yeah, so we're, I think you were successful, I agree. I think you were successful. I think you were successful as well. Maybe if you were finished, you'd be successful there. So I think you're maybe a halfway getting there. Well done, girls. I agree. I agree. I agree. Why you got your thumbs down? Because I didn't do the title and we could get to do more what we we, we have to do more work. Okay, do you think you're getting there then? Because looking at what you've got, look, you've got your time connectives, they're in steps, you've got your imperative verbs, 
I think you're being too hard on yourself, Albert. I think maybe you could improve on it, but I definitely think that you're nearly there. Okay? Okay. So